every morning I'd like to start off with a good cup of coffee. So when I have time to sit, do some work around the office, I like to make a full fresh pot. And what I, when the method I like to use when making a fresh pot of coffee is the use of a French press. So I was contacted by the folks at uh, an online store through Amazon called uh, Ecoe, E-C-O-O-E, and they asked me to do a review of one of their French presses. Now, French press is one of my favorite uh, methods of making coffee, so I think what we'll do is we'll use the, uh, the French press that was sent over to us, and we'll uh, brew ourselves a pot of that coffee, all right? So uh, they sent us to, uh, this came from Amazon. Uh, they have an Amazon store, so at the bottom of this, you'll see the link where you could uh, get this particular uh, unit. I think this is cool. They do have a few other ones, you know, depending on what you like. But uh, this one really caught my eye because I, I really just, I just really like the way it looks. You know, it's nice, and pretty much nice and simple, wrapped in the wrap. And I, I don't think you can get any more simpler than that. I mean, that's just a nice stainless steel piece of goods. This is all stainless steel, so it's uh, dishwasher safe. Okay. And the way a, a French press works is we're going to take the uh, ground coffee beans. Okay. This holds 32 ounces of coffee. So when you figure 32 divided by 8 ounce cups, so you're talking four scoops of coffee you'd be using to put in this. We'd fill it with uh, our water, our hot water. We'll let it sit for a few minutes, and then we'll use this plunger to plunge down the grounds, and we pour, and we have an enjoyable cup of coffee. Like I said, this is all very hard stainless steel, nice inside and out. So. Uh, I would say this is dishwasher safe, so you can clean it in the dishwasher. And uh, like I said, everything is uh, made up of some very strong components. Uh, the screen here, all right, after a while, the screen will get a little clogged up. And you wash that, and in the meantime, you would uh, switch over to a fresh screen. And they did give you an, another screen in the package. So in the package, when you order this, okay, you get the, the container, the plunger, and your uh, your screen. Like I said, it's really caught my eye because I just thought this was really neat. So we have the makings for our our uh, coffee here. All right. So what I I do is I like to grind my beans. All right. I keep them fresh, so I grind them. Uh, or you could use your ground coffee that you you know your favorite ground coffee in the supermarket. So you get your uh, your scoop here, your coffee scoop. Uh, it's it's roughly a, a rounded tablespoon. Okay. So. What we'll do is we're making four cups, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. It's pretty simple, right? And then uh, you would use uh, boiling water if you're going to, you know, on the kettle or what have you. I use a uh, use an electric kettle. Uh, typically, what you would do is you bring it up to a boil, wait. Turn, take it off the heat, wait about a minute and a half, okay? That way the temperature will drop just below 200. So that's that's pretty much a, a good temperature, right? So we'll bring it up to a boil, wait about a minute and a half to two minutes to let it get under 200 degrees, and then we'll do that, all right? So we've got the French press, we've got our four scoops of coffee, and we're gonna fill this up. I'm going to put 32 ounces of coffee in there. Out of the water. And I'd say on this case, it's about an inch. It's about an inch from the top. Okay, about an inch from the top. And what we'll do is we'll just take the lid. We'll just take the lid here. Put this down. This is the plunger. We'll just put that and let it set here. Okay, I'm just going to let this set. And let this set for about four or five minutes. All right. So when we get back, all right, the coffee grounds and the water is steeping almost like you would tea. All right, so this really is uses the same theory as if you're making tea. Okay, so we're gonna have everything mixing in with the warm water, draw, drawing out all the essential flavors and the oils, and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna be back in about five minutes. All right, so we'll see you right back. Okay, we are back. So five minutes have passed. Okay, so the grinds and the water, they've been sitting there getting all together and making themselves a good cup of coffee inside here. So it's time to, uh, you know, 
get this party started. All right, so there's a little indentation here on the top, okay? That's the spout where the water will come out of, okay? So we'll have this in line with the spout. I'm gonna gently push this down. Essentially what we're doing, just pushing down all the grounds, down to the bottom, and the screen will se separate the grounds from the coffee, okay? And what we're gonna do is, heck, pour ourselves a cup of coffee. So we'll put that going there. And let's see here, get a good smell. Okay, now what I'm going to do is for the, for, the, for the purpose of, for you to see how dark and rich this is, uh, I'm going to put this in a clear glass for you to look at here. And there you go. Okay. So there's your coffee. I got to tell you, it's one of my preferred methods of making coffee. And uh, I want to thank the folks at Ecoe. I hope I pr pronounced that right. That's E-C-O-O-E.com. And they have a... Uh, a site at, on Amazon. At the bottom, we'll have the link on where you can get this. Like I said, it's a really cool looking piece, a very sturdy piece. And I tell you, uh, with this demonstration, I hope we've shown you how easy it is to make a really good cup of coffee. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody subscribing. Good morning. We'll see you real soon.